Okay, in this example, I'm going to show you how to calculate the average. So now I'm going to read you the problem. So it's a work problem. So again, listen carefully as I read the problem to you. A car involved in an energy efficiency study had the following miles per gallon, which we call MPG, listings for five tanks of gasoline. So basically they filled up the tank of gas, the tank all the way up and then they ran the car to see how, what the miles per gallon would be until it was empty. So this is what we have, 21.7, 22.4, 26.9, and 22.6, and all of the units are miles per gallon, okay? Find the average miles per gallon for the five tanks of gasoline, round to the nearest tenth. So then we've got some rounding in there. So 22.6. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add those up, right? So we're going to add those up. So let's add them up. Okay, so if you add these up by column, let's see what we get. We get 117.3. Okay, so all I did, again, I just add left to right, okay? So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then 111, 114, and then 115.1, 116, 117.3, and I'm done. So now that's the sum. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 117.3 and I'm going to divide by how many numbers do I have there? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to divide by five. Well, if I divide by five, what am I going to get? Now, the cool thing is, is again, you could use the calculator, but you could use the division algorithm or realize that, hey, if I double this, I can divide by 10 and then what? If I double the 5 and divide by 10, right, then I get my quotient, I can double my quotient and get the answer, okay? Because if I double the 5, I'm going to get half my answer. So if I, so then if I get, um, if I divide by 5, I'm going to double. So if I divide by 10, it's 11.73. So I take 11.73 and double it, and that's going to be the answer if I divide it by 5, okay? So that's going to be 20, what, 23.46. So I'm going to get 23.46, okay? And that's the average miles per gallon. Let me check uh, the answer, see if I got the right answer. Yes, 23.46. Now, they want us to round to the nearest tenth, right? The nearest tenth. So that's going to be equal to 23.5 miles per gallon. And of course, you always want to put units on your answer when units are involved. And that's it. And that completes the uh, example. Have a great day.